what's ripening in YouTube. So I guess I've been kind of on a hiatus. Um, been doing a lot of work lately, but I kind of forgot about the video camera, so forgive me for that. Um, I'm standing now in my new nursery site. Um, this was located on the other side of my shipping container. Um, at that time, I had a really nice oak canopy, which was shading my little baby plant. But as you can see, yeah, that went away. So um, now that's where I park my tractor on this side and I move my nursery over to this side. And so I've been putting out irrigation. I've got my my bamboos over here in their own zone now, instead of having everything on one zone, which, yeah, it's not a pro tip, but it's kind of obvious. Don't put everything on one zone because one gallon pots and 15 gallon pots don't need the same amount of water, obviously. Um, but anyway, I got a, I got a uh, alert on my Facebook or whatever, and it was like a one year anniversary or one year, one year ago today. And it was saying one year ago today, you, uh, you posted the video about your rainwater system. And I realized I never posted the rest of the system. So here's the rest of the system. It's not anything really that special, but I figured I'd show it. So if you remember the last video I showed basically putting a roof on the container and then I've got my gutter, let's see, I got my gutter going across and then I got a little downspout. And then all I did here. All I did here was I added this, I think I got it on Amazon, this little screen, like it's got this little screen inside. So when the leaves come down, they drop out, they drop out through here instead of going down the pipe. And then I did a little, um, first, like a pretty low tech first flush. Um, basically the first, so the water first comes down the big pipe and fills up the big pipe which is right here. And I've got a little cap so I can wash it out, you know, periodically I can drain that out. So it fills that up. And the idea is that the, that the dirty water that comes off the roof first goes in there. And then once it fills up, then it starts pouring into my IBC tote, which a buddy of mine sold me real cheap. He was get, he had a couple to get rid of. Um, the IBC tote, all I did was take the lid and cut a hole in it. And then I, duct tape some screen on there i think you can buy those lids with with actual like that are pretty solid i might get one just because i think that's gonna that tape's not gonna hold up forever but um and then i also i set the uh the tote up on blocks they're not the blocks aren't sitting on mulch i actually like dug them in and made them i tried to make them as level as i could put them up high so actually uh like uh that garbage can over there that I'm using to make some of my fertilizers and stuff, I can actually drag it under here and it actually goes underneath the spout. I can open the valve and fill it with rainwater. Um, long term, well, not long term, but semi long term, I might add to that system. I might just add storage by putting more and more IBC totes down this wall and then I'll have to plumb them together. And um, the only other thing that I don't have right now is an overflow system and that's because if it overflows here i don't really care it, you know um it's, it doesn't matter to me if it becomes a problem then i'll deal with it then but i've got other projects i'm working on but anyway i wanted to show the uh latest low tech um the concepts behind it are trying to keep junk out of it that's what that little uh diverter there is and then also the rainwater the first flush diverter that's supposed to keep junk out the idea is you want to keep the water in there as clean as you can honestly i'm using the water for uh making my own uh farm inputs it's not for drinking so even if even if it gets gross in there i, I don't really care because i'm trying to uh, trying to culture microbial life anyway so so what <laughs> that's what i want um, but if you're doing this for your own use and you have a different use, then you might have a different criteria. You might have to modify things a little bit, but at least that gives you an idea. Um, so that's what's going on here. Uh, stay tuned. I'll try to get, get back on the videos 
and uh, keep you guys updated. Peace out.